So, so what we're going to talk a little bit about is when those visuals come up, uh, you see you see the videos, you see some images and everything, and go ahead. Well, I just was explaining to Tony, and I can only speak from an African American viewpoint. It's 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 unfortunate that you only see black people getting killed by the police. When I see that, I see a father, a uncle, a brother, a cousin, I see a mother or a sister. And so I think where we feel disadvantaged that well I know where we feel disadvantaged that is for one, you know, it's our people that's being killed. And then two, the cops are not being held accountable. And that is the main issue. Again, we're not saying we hate cops, but you should be held accountable. If I go out, I, I made the example earlier, if I go out, if you come to my house, me and you fall out and we say, hey, we're going to fight, and we have three of our friends who say no one's going to jump in, and you start beating me, and then I slam you, and I start choking you, right. and, 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 your, and your hands are tied up, right? right? And I'm choking you, and then two of my friends is holding your legs down, and then another one's watching, mm -hmm. all four gets charged. Yep. So you have their mayor say, well, we may want to rest. And that is insulting mm -hmm. yeah. a portion of America's like, that is not good enough. Right. And right. I just think to go even deeper, it right. just stems from systemic racism. Right. We, you know, Congress and none of that looks like the face of America. Yeah. You see powerful white men yeah. who are creating policy. And so um, it's very hard to get justice, and it becomes very, very humiliating and just tired. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah, I think uh, finally when there are arrests, but still the damage is already done, isn't it? Because it took too long. and Yeah, and it's like what you have done that, if, if that was a middle-aged white man and it was four black officers doing the exact same thing that they said, it's kind of like the movie A Time to Kill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's like things should be equal and they're not. And as I explained before the camera came on, the, the reparations that we never received. So it's kind of like an echo. Mm -hmm. It's just always, we're always getting the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and I just, it's, it's unfortunate. And so that's why I had explained earlier. Um, I think it's important to kind of give the history of policing yeah. and how, you know, it was ultimately or initially designed to patrol slaves right. from running. Right. And so it's always been to babysit the poverty and our black neighborhoods mm -hmm. and then to protect mm -hmm. the, the rich and the you know the the white our white brothers and sisters mm -hmm. man yeah. and it's we, it just there needs to be a shift yeah. there needs to be a shift yeah you know reform yeah so again these talks are a communication let's get out in the open I'm discovering and getting educated all the time and I and I love it I hate to hear what Clarence many have gone through but I love to get in light and say okay 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 now. Because when we're in the dark and we're not communicating, we're making assumptions. And I'm, I'm guilty of making assumptions, going, scratching my head, going, well, I don't get it. I thought that was all good. I thought we took care of everything. No, 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 you didn't. You, you know, so you're hearing some of these things, and it's, it's huge and critical. So, again, thanks for watching. And uh, we're hoping, again, to be here to do your two things, and that is to... It's a heal and educate. Yeah. Heal and yeah. educate. Yeah, and I, I just want to say to anyone who may be watching, uh, if what I said angers you, I think that <laughs> you, I think you should sit down with someone um, and have a talk with them. Hey, am I okay to be angry with you? Exactly. What? I mean, and you know, we said earlier. We're allowed to be angry with each right. other? It's like, who? Well, it's, we're it's, supposed to be on smiles. Yeah, man, listen. Whatever. No one supposed has time for that. Uh-uh. It's it goes photo I come in, I know, I know I get on his last nerve and vice versa. Oh so we need to have these, we need to have these uncomfortable conversations. I have to have them with myself as far as just, you know, transitioning from someone who couldn't find the way to now having um, a platform to encourage, you know, the viewers. So 
that took a lot of introspection that I had to do. So yeah, I had them difficult conversations, man. Oh yeah. So <laughs> we're trying to get there. All right. Thanks. <laughs>